Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily Freibler. So today's video, I'm gonna be doing a bronzy makeup tutorial as well as kind of like chit chatting while I do my makeup cause that's kind of like how I like to do my makeup tutorials. I don't like to have them be all all business all the time. Does that make sense? So let's get started with this. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure you do so and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy because it really helps out my channel. And um, let's get started. I really hope I don't have almonds on my tooth. My skin lately has been kind of weird. Um, it's been a little bit dry, a little bit, not really that oily anymore um, since I've been doing more like acne treatment stuff. I don't really have oily skin right now. I am gonna be using a moisturizing primer whereas before I used to always use a mattifying primer. So I really like this one from CoverGirl. It's nice and moisturizing. It's their moisturizing primer. That's literally all it's called. Um, I do have on some sunscreen right now um as well from when Caleb and I went on our walk a little bit ago and real quick if you're curious about my nail color I will um try and remember to leave it linked for you guys it is a dip powder that I got on Amazon that I actually used with the Nugenics or whatever that kit is um but it's a different brand of powder and it's lasted me almost a week so far without any chips or anything so I'm very happy with it which is really interesting because I use the same color with a different kit like different base gel and all that stuff and it would not last at all like it would always crack but I love the color um so that makes me happy that so far this like kit works really well and you can use other powders with it and it still works. Okay, for foundation, I'm actually gonna use a foundation today instead of like a BB cream or something. I feel like if I do put on makeup lately, it's like a BB cream. I haven't been wearing makeup more than like maybe three, four times a week. Um, but when I do, I usually wear my Clean Matte BB cream. But today I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. Um, I have been letting my skin breathe, like I said, a lot lately just because, I don't know, I'm really happy with my skin and um, everybody's staying home anyway, so I just haven't felt the need to wear a lot of makeup. Um, I do like to put on makeup a few times a week though because it just makes me feel better about myself, you know, just like... I just feel more like myself, you know? But speaking of like not wearing makeup and stuff, I have always wanted lash extensions, but they're just so expensive that I never have wanted to pay for them, obviously. Um, that's like why I tint my own brows and like stuff like that. I do basically all of my, I, th I think I do all of my beauty care at home. I do my own hair dye. I do my own um, hair cutting. I do my own... Uh, eyebrows, all that stuff I do myself. And so I don't know. I just, I still wouldn't want to pay for lash extensions. So now that all this stuff is happening with COVID and you can't go get lash extensions, even if you want to, so many people are trying to have solutions for it, like DIY lash extensions at home, that kind of stuff. And I have watched a bunch of videos recently, not like that many, probably like four videos so far about lash extension, lash extensions at home, different alternatives, stuff like that. And the general consistent consensus I've seen is that like nail or not nail text, lash text. That's another thing I do at, my, at home, my own nails. I do dip, gel, poly gel, stuff like that. But Lash techs are saying that if you put a lash extension cluster on more than one lash that you can really damage your lashes because they fall out at different rates and then it's like pulling out your other lashes and obviously that's really bad for your lashes and you can have bald spots and like all that stuff. So it's really bad to do that, which I've seen some people do that. Um, but I'm really curious, leave a thing down below. If you are someone that would like to see how to do real like lash extensions or want me to try doing it the proper way at home, let me know down below because I've been thinking about trying it, but it is something that's going to be very tedious. So you're going to have to know that it's like a very tedious process and you'd probably have to do it every two weeks or something. I don't know. It's, it's not going to last as long as like normal lash, lash extensions. Obviously it's going to be way cheaper, but it's also a very tedious pro process, which is probably fine for a lot of people right now because obviously it's, um, everybody's staying home. So I have been going back and forth if I could really do it or like how tedious it is. Cause you're supposed to put 
literally one lash on each lash or like you can put multiple lashes on okay let me explain this you can put multiple exp extensions on one lash but you don't want to put like a cluster of extensions on two lashes combined does that make sense um or else you can damage your lashes so it's just like very tedious and i looked it up and you can have anywhere from like i think it said 50 to 100 or 50 to 90 lashes per eye which i'm like that's a lot of extensions if you think about doing both eyes wow i'm just very curious what do you guys think should i try it let me know is that a video you would like to see if you are curious for all the COVID stuff going on, how I dye my hair at home, how I cut my hair at home, I will leave those videos down below for you guys so that you can um, check them out. So for concealer, I use Maybelline Fit Me in light. I just wanted like a really natural concealer, not really too highlighted of under eyes. Um, and today for powder, I think I'm gonna use this little duo. This is from Wild Wild. This is their Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I haven't used this in a long time. This is a really good under eye setting powder if I can find my brush. I'm gonna use the Eco Tools Full Blush Brush and just take some of this. Again, I haven't like really talked to you guys on here, been on Instagram stories a lot, but how are you guys doing with staying home and everything? Um, so far, Caleb and, I, Caleb and I have been good. It's like definitely weird staying home so much but tomorrow we have our big excursion of two weeks and we're going to the grocery store <laughs> we've been going once every two weeks um so this is only like our what third time since this whole thing has started um then i'm going to use the bronzer from this as well this is the elf pointed powder brush forgot this is like super pigmented and then i'm just gonna bronze the face also, what, um, if you have gotten projects done, what projects have you done since you've been home? Um, I haven't done too much different other than I did vlog where I cleaned out my closet because that really, it just needed to be done anyway. Um, and I'm excited to eventually donate those, but we'll see when that will happen. Bringing a little bit down my nose. Not really contouring, but just kind of like bringing a little bit of that color down my nose, on my eyelids. Like I said, I just want it to be nice and bronzy. Uh oh, I forgot that I was going to use a liquid bronzer or a liquid highlight. I still am going to try, I think. Okay, so let's see. I have this one from Makeup Revolution. This is the Euphoric Gold. Or I have a Wet n Wild Halo Glow Liquid Highlighter in Gilded Glow. I haven't used either of these in a long time. I think that one's too dark for me right now. I think I'm going to use this one from Makeup Revolution. So I'm going to take a little, probably just take the sponge, dab it around, and go like this. I usually don't like to put liquid on top of powder, but this one seems to do pretty well, no matter what. Look at that. Okay, this is gonna go back into one of my top highlights. I did go through my makeup collection though and kind of like weed out any of the stuff that's like probably expired and stuff. This one honestly could be expired, I don't really know. It seems to be performing okay. So all this talk about, um, Lash extension kind of makes me want to put on a strip lash today just for fun. I might do it. I might not. I haven't really decided. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to use my, um, what is this called? Anastasia Powder Brow Duo in dark brown. Just run this through the brows. So I do um, also, like I said, dye my own eyebrows, pluck them, everything. So, um... I have a video on that on my channel too. Someone told or said that, that I should do kind of like a, almost like a spa day video, which I think I might do where like one day I dye my eyebrows, I tan. I do have an at-home facial steamer. Um, steam my face, do a face mask, like literally pamper 
my whole body, do a little pedicure, stuff like that. So let me know if that's something you want to see, like all the products that I use for kind of like at home pampering. Brows are done. And then I'm going to use the Essence Make Me Brow in, I don't know what shade this is, like dark or something, zero two. Zero two brownie brows. I haven't put makeup on in so long. Like, I don't think I've put it on all week and it's Thursday. That's so unlike me. Okay, now I'm gonna use the Milani Berry Ray's little blush palette. And I like to use this Wet n Wild contouring brush. It's more of a blush brush in my opinion. I just kind of dab, dab, dab. I think I am gonna use these strip lashes. So I'm gonna give you a few pointers when it comes to strip lashes. So these are from uh, Salon Perfect. This, these are their wispies or demi wispies. Um, first things first, you have to like take them off the little package and you just wanna lightly slide it or else you can damage the lashes. And try and get the glue off of the lashes. Oops. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut these up kind of like individual lashes and then place them like that so it kind of gives like the effect of more of a like lash extension vibe. So I just will take scissors and kind of cut where these little clusters are. Do you see the little clusters like cut in between them? Okay, so these are what they look like just kind of on on the little thing. You got some little ones, got some bigger ones, stuff like that. So I just have this Kiss lash glue, just strip lash glue, and then I have some tweezers. I am going to just, I think, lightly put a coat of mascara on simply because we're not applying these to the lashes, we are applying these to the skin because it's still a strip lash, it's not like lash extensions. Okay, so I just kind of coated my lashes, just a very light coat. I'm gonna take my hair down because I kind of have a headache. And while I let that dry, I'm gonna put a little bit of contour on my nose. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and just dip, dip, Tap it off and then go along the nose. Okay, so I have my lashes in this little tray and then I am just gonna put some glue down, which I did, and then let it get kind of tacky after I dip the lash in it. I just have a kind of a bigger clump. I'm just going to place it on the outer part of the eye here. Let it sit there and then take another one. Then I'm going to take a kind of another big one, put that one in the middle. Actually, I'm gonna put that towards the end. Change my mind. It's too flared out. So I'm just gonna keep taking little pieces and applying them to the eye. Okay, so that is one eye done, I think. I might add a little bit more. I didn't use every single piece. And so far, I really like it. I think it just looks nice and natural and good. It definitely looks different than if I were to just put the strip lash on. So I'm gonna try and mimic what I did here over here. All right, you guys, these lashes are done. I feel like one of them, this one might be a little bit different, but it is what it is. It looked good enough in my opinion. Um, and while I was doing that, I actually was watching a eyelash extension video and I think I'm going to try it, you guys, and film it, of course, because I always film these things for you guys. Let's do a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes as well. 
I really do like how these little bit of like kind of like individual lashes um little clusters look though so if you do kind of want to get that similar look to lash extensions you could do what I just did you could even cut your strip lash like I did if you have wispies or get the little like individual packs but you have to put them on um every day now let's just finish this off real quick with lips. This is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in 03 Nude. And then this is my... Neutrogena Hydra Boost Hydrogen Lip Shine in Berry Brown. My favorite um, lip gloss right now. It's just like so nice and hydrating and the perfect color. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really loving these lashes right now and I'm about to go on Amazon and order some of those lash extensions, I think. So you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every single week on beauty, lifestyle, and fashion. And I will see you guys in a video very, very soon. Bye, guys.